Oh yeah, let's go on a date with Judy. Romance is the priority. We do, and for some reason we have no hair right now, but never mind that. <laughs> it's fine, it'll grow back. <laughs> well, the, the baldness does help us <laughs> swim faster, to Grizz's point, but yes, a normal day in Cyberpunk, random bugs and glitches. This is it. <laughs> Old dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> Great success! <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Good morning, high city, a day in the light. I was on my own, catching a ride. We've made the news once again. We've made the news on the loading screen, so we'll kick off with uh, listening to that. Did y'all lose power yesterday too? Yeah, when the lights went out there I was cooking dinner. Oh well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. Yeah, yeah, I know I shouldn't Ugh. have. After all, I heard microwaves zap out all the nutrients, but hey, it kills the cockroaches too, so you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I? Right, the power outage. Apparently some plant out in Santo short circuit. Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. The CPD says the blackout led to 120 mil in damages all in all. The real tragedy though? I can't stomach a cold burrito. 120 million eddies? Huh, damn. And just to get your hands on one dude. You got some cojones, B. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, in order to, uh... <laughs> in order to catch... Finally catch Anders Hellman to find out about the chip where to take down the drone thing he was flying in. In order to do that, we had to cause an AMP. In order to do that, we had to cause a power outage. Uh, that was quite a disruptive power outage, it would seem. Oh well. Sorry, Night City. Okay, Judy, what's going on? What's up? Uh, you know, fame old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey. I'm just glad you remember me at all. Cause I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun, just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> All right, then count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay, um... Is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See ya, V. Oh yeah, let's go on a date with Judy. Um, okay, so we need a pyramid song. We'll meet Judy in the early evening. How far away are we travelling for that? Too far? Alright. Fine early evening. What time is it now? 11.04pm. That's probably not early evening. Okay, well... We'll go for a drive. Actually, maybe we'll skip time now. And then we'll go for a drive, because a few other people I'm pretty sure are going to try and call us. And it can be annoying when they do it at the wrong time. Right, cool, cool. Get our beast. Uh, the coyote. I love my coyote. Oh, there he is. Let's go. Oh, 
it's nice to be back in the daylight again too. I think everything just looks better in the daylight and it just feels more fun. Oh, hang on, where are we going? We are going to... Yeah, we'll stick to the roads. We shall stick to the roads, otherwise sometimes it's better to just go cross country but... Um, oh, there you go, Pan Am Palmas texted us. Well, we'll deal with Pan Am later. Romance is the priority. <laughs> but she's a tough girl. I've never noticed this barely started construction before. Onwards to Judy once more. And uh, hopefully the game audio, my voice audio, everything just works out. Do let me know if anything fails, please. Alrighty. This is a big, big lake with one dodgy hut. Thanks, Bright. Love you. Alright, the car is... I'm meant to get out here, am I? Because the car just stopped. This early evening, hopefully it's close enough to early evening. For duty. Lovely shack. I go inside. I cannot. All right. We're stuck outside waiting for Judy. So be it. Hum. Oh, there she is, and she's already suited up. <laughs> she didn't talk to us first. She just got suited up. And now we talk to her. Hey, looking good. Okay. You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Any news from the Moxers? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. <laughs> oh, Judy, why are you sad? Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. Alright, sounds good. So ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, I've been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. A couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you Ooh. load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. 
Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where... No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. All right, Judes. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. Are we gonna suit up as well? All right, get that booty of yours suited up. Um, oh, from the box. Let's get this scroller on ya. Okay. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Should see me in my Max Tech uniform. <laughs> Whoa. Can you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion. Huh. I'm gonna hold you to that. Hmm. Haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? A bag of rocks? Come on, don't sell yourself short. Water's toxic, that not a problem? The whole reason we're suiting up. Alrighty, get connected to the terminal. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. We even have the suit on. We do, and for some reason we have no hair right now, but never mind that. <laughs> it's fine, it'll grow back. <laughs> all right, into the water. Kasploosh! behind me. Don't descend too fast. Okay. Where are we headed, exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stay close to you. Okie dokes. I think we have no hair because something is glitching in the game. Just for something different? Virtues are more to you than just a way to turn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. <laughs> well, the, the boldness does help us <laughs> swim faster, to Grizz's point, but yes, a normal day in Cyberpunk, random bugs and glitches. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. All right, like, like this. What you wanted? Or not swimming it the right way? Right. Motion okay. calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. Go. Cool. Mm 
no idea what the song is, but I heard it. Uh, it goes something like, All right, we're all tuned and synced. And you got talent, girl. All right, that ought to do it. Yeah. We are now synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. We already checked it out, Grizz, don't worry. <laughs> now grab this and hold on tight. Okay. There's the prompt. Give me the prompt. Uh, well, we moving somewhere. Into the deep. Really deep. Impressive, huh? Oh, it's a whole house under here. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. What happened here? Why'd it get flooded? Cause someone stood to profit. That sounds about right. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why is this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Hmm, okay. She's really putting herself out there. Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea it just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Well, we are honored that you chose us, Judy. Oh, little town. Track's very cool right now as well. Lowe's Diner, best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Let's search for some clues, I guess, around the diner. And can we go in the diner? No. But we can look at this. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now, let's see. Childhood for you tasted like toasted marshmallows. They always caught fire, burned. But that never bothered you. Ah, that's nomad life for you. Can't be a fussy eater or you'll get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food tastes better with just a little burn. Right, what other clues we got? 
really different uh, vibe and pace to the rest of the game so far. Framed photo. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. It's rotten. <laughs> the wood has rotted. Does that count? Got some camera. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Yoink. What else we got? something else to look at. One more clue. We need to find all the clues to find out the most about Judy. Hmm. Yeah, old dick pics. <laughs> Moldy rotten dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that they do more than anything else, eh? <laughs> and where's our last clue then? Gotta find the clue. Hey, Grizz, have you done this with Jude? Done this quest? save right now either. Oh, here we go. Is this a fishing rod? Hockey stick. Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Which moves in our moves in our music of the you? Connie! Connie! It's dead meat anyway. Anyway. Sorry, you gotta go. They're calling. They're calling. Well, that made it creepy. Went from being cool and, and, and soothing to creepy emotional flashbacks playing in her head from Judy. V, get it together. Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. We still have her picture, but, you know... See a stranger there. Judy, Judy, Judy. Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. Ah, congrats on being out and about then, Grizz. And even more, thank you for tuning in if you're out and about. Say hi to whoever is hanging out. So, no, it's probably not your mum. <laughs> what was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Uh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. <laughs> Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. Still go and visit them sometimes. <laughs> Riz, I'm not complaining. If you're tuning in out in the bush and you're finally able to get away, I'm not complaining at all. So thanks for tuning in at all in the first place. Really appreciate it, man. Well, keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. Always love having you with us. And of course, everyone else who tunes in, even more so under unusual circumstances. We're looking for anything in particular here? Nah, can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. It feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. It is very surreal swimming around a whole little town underwater. Oh, what have we got here? Imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. 
Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> touché, Judy, touché. Clues near the gas station. All right, well, we got an old wreck of a car. Attic bomb. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. No. Don't play cops and robbers, or <laughs> you play Max Tack and Psychos. Alright. Another clues have we got around here then. Bill is very eerie. It's very soothing and cool as we swim around, but then very eerie and creepy when we hear the, the voices kick in. From Judy's memory or wherever they're coming from. These clues are annoying to find though. Oh, we've gone out of range. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. <laughs> what I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. I reckon all the sharks have probably been killed by whatever pollution is here, Grizz. Most of, or a lot of other animal species has. I reckon we're safe. <laughs> oh no, don't put that song in my head. No baby shark. Wanna see what's further on? Come on then, wanna show you something. Got no idea how <laughs> it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. You can imagine it a bit. Baby shark. Uh, uh, shark Church hasn't aged at all. Always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear him. Well, I definitely hear him. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. And I wish the lighting in the shadows had stopped spazzing out. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Yeah, let's break into the underwater like church. Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. Nope, the protest did not succeed. Oh, can we just swim in through here? Found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Alright, swimming in a big creepy church. Um, no, we didn't see what was in the photo frame. It's just a blank photo, I think. Destroyed by the water. Through the altar, I tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. A little... is that a fishy? No. how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. And I screamed at the top 
top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Oh no, relic malfunction. Braden, you worse than worse. Huh? I read you loud and clear. Everything all right. what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end bad. Shut up, Johnny. You just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where exactly? Are we gonna camp on the shore? Nope. There. Our cottage for the day. How about it? Let's do it. Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Yeah, it's very homely, very cozy. Bit dodgy. Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Yeah. Fancy. On Thomas. Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator? What's next? Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. Hmm. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. All those people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them begin with the same thing. Displacement. Speaking of harm's way, harm's way. You know what I see? Walking, talking corpses. Why is the audio weird? Why is she being all creepy like? What does that mean? Save and continue. Hmm, there's a problem. Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. Really? Is our connection lost? What's going on? Suspicion rises. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Thing doesn't look right. What's wrong?
Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Aromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. Damn it, that's probably our fault. I'd rather not talk or think about it. I didn't want to tell you. Wanted this to be just our day. I want it. It is ours. Access. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> I like <a> you. I think. Uh, pity about the uh, clouds because that's probably our fault in that we took out Maiko because we didn't trust her. Even though we knew that what she was saying was probably a better decision but she was being too dodgy about it. Sad. That's sad to hear. On the upside, pretty solid connection with Judy now. Clothes back on. Are we dressed? We are dressed. All right. <laughs> Grizz, you choose the right time to <laughs> to check back in. Uh, yeah. No. Oh, look, very. Uh, you know, very emotional, very intimate scene. I'm um, gonna say, well done. Well put together the subtle music and stuff yeah well done uh, they've done well with um conveying emotion i think and like the truly emotional scenes like with evelyn with judy just now with jackie that happened all right cool so now we got to find <laughs> oh there she is Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Morning, finally. So, yesterday. What was that exactly? 
don't remember, or you want me to remind you? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean? Like, to you? Take a sip. Think it... I mean... <laughs> I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. Ugh. It can be such a gonk sometimes. Ruined my plans, you know that. Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now I think... I think I gotta stay. I think you do as well. Ah, oh, well. Guess I'll have to make it up to you, won't I? Hmm. Yeah, that would be appropriate. Give me your hand, V. Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. Like gorilla hand. All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Uh, asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Okay. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. Really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. I'm gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. See ya, Judy. And Takamura times indeed. The parade ah. will soon start. I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? <laughs> Takamura, he's always trying to I mean. Alright, cool. So you know, we've hit some kind of emotional status with dudes. Access to her apartment. Cool. And we can't talk to her now, so yeah. Look the danger pretty here in I city.